Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today would be day 32, and yet we're going to interrupt the challenge with another product enhancement, a new feature release inside of our contacts applet. And this has been one that has been requested for quite a while. Pretty excited about this one. It is the ability to now merge duplicate contacts from within the contacts applet. So let's dive into contacts and I promise tomorrow we'll come back to campaigns, we'll dive back into the paid out experience. But I wanted to get this out to you today since it's brand new, we're gonna click on contacts. And if this is your first time back in command and contacts, you're actually gonna get a big pop up here that's gonna talk about the merge functionality. Um, in addition, we do have an answers article that outlines this very well. Um, massive props to Paul Polanski who helps write all of these articles does such an amazing job I'm gonna put a link to this article in the comments below or in the uh, description of the video so that way you'll have access to it and really well written kind of uh, lays it all out but essentially we are looking for contacts that are the same people that somehow came into our database twice so if we scroll down into our fake person database here you can see Marty McFly came in two separate times into our database. Now this sometimes happens if they are using different phone numbers or different emails. Remember command will check every time you go to create or import a contact to see if the email or phone number associated with that contact exists. And if so, it won't allow it to be created. But in this case, you can see we had Marty McFly in our database once. Marty McFly came in a second time. There was no phone number used either time and it was different emails. So you can see that's why the second contact was actually created because command couldn't find an existing phone number or email with that second contact. So if we want to merge contacts, that's actually a bulk action and it's going to be shown once we begin to select contacts. So it is important to note that we can only merge two contacts at a time. If we click the bulk action menu, you can see we now have merge as an option. And in this case, it's actually lit up. If for any reason we had three or more contacts, you'll see that it is grayed out and it's gonna give us a tool tip that says select two to merge. In the same vein, if we uncheck and we only have one selected, it's there, it's grayed out, same tool tip. So let's go ahead and merge Marty McFly with Marty McFly. We're going to do the bulk action. We're going to select merge. And at this point, we get a decision to make. So you can see in this case, command is not suggesting one or the other. It doesn't necessarily have enough information to suggest one or the other. Um, so we get to sort of select which one we want to keep and which one we want to merge. So you can show, see that it is going to show email addresses. It would probably show phone numbers. We don't have those. It shows addresses. We can click on show more fields and see the additional fields that are available with each of the contacts. And our first choice is which one do we want to keep as the primary? So I'm going to select the one on the left, essentially saying that I want to merge the one on the right with the one on the left. This is the one I want to keep. And I love this screen, how it lights it up with differing colors. Keep this one in green. Merge this one in red. There's even an arrow that shows you which way you're going to go. If for any reason you decide, mm, maybe I wanna keep the one on the right, all you have to do is click on that one and you can see now we're merging the one on the left with the right. In this case, we wanna keep the one on the left. We're gonna click on continue and we're gonna get one more final screen that says, hey, review this carefully before continuing because once these two contacts are merged, they cannot be unmerged. So just something really important with great power comes great responsibility. Make sure that you understand once you merge these two contacts, it is done, done. We can see that the primary email, the one that we had on the one we want to keep will remain as primary. However, the email for the one that we're merging does come in. We don't lose that data. It's actually added as an additional email. If we had two phone numbers, the phone number for the primary or the one that we selected would be the primary phone additional phone number would show for the phone number on the one that we're merging. Same thing with address. With tags, you can see we actually had fake people on both of the contacts. So since that tag existed on both, we're not gonna create a new tag for our one that we're keeping. However, the buyer tag was on the contact that we were merging. So since this is the one that we're keeping and there isn't a buyer tag on it, it's gonna add a buyer tag there. 
We can click on show all to show some additional fields, but there were not two lead sources, there weren't two neighborhoods and two legal names. At this point, we could go ahead and merge and delete the duplicate. Now, some important caveats that are very well explained in Paul's article here with regards to how do we decide if we can merge two contacts. If a contact is on a smart plan, it's going to be suggested as the primary. If you have two contacts on a smart plan, they're both on a smart plan, one will have to be removed. You cannot merge two contacts that are both on smart plans. The same thing holds true with opportunities. So if both contacts are associated with an opportunity, one would need to be removed from the opportunity. You don't have to lose the opportunity. You're just going to remove it and then you can merge the two contacts. So again, um, Paul does a really good job of outlining kind of some of the nuances with regards to duplicating these contacts. You can look down in the description for this video link. And if you're seeing this on Facebook, I'll throw it in the comments as well. So last step, all I have to do is click on merge and delete. And boom, let's do a quick refresh. Oh, I didn't even have to do a refresh there. You can see merged Marty McFly down here, right? Little kind of a heads up. And now you can see Marty is only in our database once. Primary email still there. We can see if we scroll over on our tag column, the buyer tag got added to the new, not new, but right, the existing contact. And if we scroll down, we can see that the email did come over. So we're good there, the secondary email, if you will. Um, and we do get a timeline notification that the contacts were merged. So this is also nice just to kind of know what happened when. Finally, back here in this article, you can see, right, just to be aware of, empty fields will be populated with information from the other contact. So if you're merging data into a contact that is empty, then that data will be populated into the empty field. Some of the data will truly merge, tags and notes, for example, meaning we're not gonna lose that information, we just combine that information. And you can see some information from the other contact will be merged, but moved from the primary spot. We just saw that happen with the email. And then finally, some information will be lost totally if both contacts have that field populated. Here is description, and then Paul even has an additional article because Paul is just really good at this stuff, right? Here's all of the merge rules. We don't have enough time in this video to go through all of this, but I would definitely recommend sort of checking that out. You can find the link to this article from the one that I'm going to link in this video just by clicking here. You can get some more information about how data is handled. So that's it for today, guys. Brand new feature inside of Command Contacts, the ability to merge two contacts into one sort of keep your database a little cleaner, a little more straightforward and uh, help when oopses and you know accidental contact creation happens. Tomorrow we'll dive back into the 66. We'll get back into campaigns talking about the paid ads experience. Hope to see you then. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll talk to you soon.